everyone and girls, it's me, Jerry Dad, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about how games have helped me. So, games is a thing which everyone has started playing during the quarantine because they had nowhere else to go and all they had were devices or tablets and uh, because of that, they started getting into games. But uh, by everyone, I mean everyone except the adults because they have to work and make money for their family. So. Uh, I'm going to be telling you a uh, lot I've learned during this quarantine time while playing. And uh, people think video games are just a waste of time. But my dad is not that kind of parent. He lets us play. And this is what I've learned. So first of all, I'm going to be telling you guys a brief introduction to what I'm going to be telling in this video. So first of all, I'm going to be talking how I learned to be careful and how it can help you code and um, much much more. So first of all, uh, let's talk about coding because it's mainly the future of all our lives. How did it help? It's a playing, it's a game you in which you play, not create, right? So first of all, I'm going to be telling you about how games can help you learn to code. So first of all, the game I play is called Roblox. Roblox. And uh, right now, I play games all the time on it. But uh, in fun fact was uh, when the game was created, it wasn't created to play games. It was actually created to create games and to uh, help uh, kids learn how to code and how to build stuff. And uh, the coding language they use is the programming language called Lua. Well, I'm not saying this, but uh, I, I, I'm just learning a little bit on how to code. I don't know anything, uh, like I don't even know uh, much about coding in Roblox. But I have made a few games and a thing which helps you when you are in Roblox and you are creating a game is uh, in Roblox there is this online currency called Robux and uh, from that if you make enough money from uh, you creating a game I think it's about 500,000 Robux or something if you make that you can exchange that for real life money and uh, that's how you can be a successful de game developer in a kids game and uh, now i'm going to be telling you guys how you, you can learn to be careful in roblox so first of all uh, there are many scammers in different uh, games even in real life and many other games uh, they'll find one way to exploit the game or like hack in the game or they'll either be scamming that uh, also ruins the fun in the game for other players who want to play the game I've seen, I'm saying this because I've seen people do it. So the main way people scam in this Roblox game is a thing called trust trading. So there'll be a game in which you can trade things like, uh, oh look, I got this really cool car. Oh, that guy has Lamborghini, I won't trade it. So uh, you can trade your car for the Lamborghini that uh, guy accepts. And uh, not all games uh, right now have the thing in which this is unbalanced and you could get scammed. Uh, but uh, a lot of games don't have it. So because of that, you can easily get scammed. So the way this trust trading thing works is that uh, the uh, guy will have something really good in uh, his main uh, account in the Roblox game. But he will also have an alternative account, which is what he will be using to scam. So he will say that, oh, oh look, you know that you really got a really cool car. Just as an example, I have this uh, super car on my main account. Just trade this to my alternative account here, and then I'll rejoin in my main account, and I will give you that really cool super car. And uh, that car, car, the super car, or the thing you're trading for, might be really rare, and you really want it. And your pet, or and your thing is also very rare. Uh, he will say that he will rejoin and then you will do it and you will do it and then you have just lost a really rare thing in a game. So that is how uh, trusting works. So uh, he will never join back on his main account and he will just create this uh, thing to his main account and now his main account is very rich. 
And if you want to know more about the scams, I, uh, scams and video games slash Roblox, you can check out my Substack. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, Substack about uh, video games, how scamming works in there. So another thing Roblox has helped me with, or like uh, gaming has helped me with in general, is uh, talking to the mic. You might be asking, hey Jerry, you're just talking to the mic right now, why is it so hard? Well, uh, in my gaming channel which I have, you can go subscribe uh, right over here in the description. In the gaming channel I have, I mainly upload videos with just music and like some gaming uh, stuff. But recently I just uploaded a video with my voice. And uh, I'm really shy on my gaming channel for it because I have a really uh, like a kid voice uh, to say and that uh, I'm kind of scared of it or uh, not scared like nervous to do it. That is one thing Roblox has helped me with. Ah yes, how can I forget? One may another main way gaming can help you is with strategies. You may be asking how strategies i'll just say it in real life it could be planning to do stuff so in strat in games uh for example it's a pvp game which is player versus player uh you you can have some strategies to make it easier uh to get the person and then win the game well um, that could also be in real life in which you plan stuff and then it makes it easier for you to do things and then you can do it much quicker same way in the game and for the coding thing i want to say that my lua may not be the coding thing that you will be using but uh, it'll uh, help you know what coding is at that time rather than just starting out from level zero you can be at like level 30 and then you can have a boost like that and I think that's it. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.